I'm Cape Jewel, and this is Comic Smack, your weekly, daily, all the time, anytime comic book show where I give you your fix, everything you need to know from the world of comic books and superheroes. And on today's show. We are taking a closer look at Titans number 5. Wally West will need to race against the clock to save his friends. Can he do it? Let's hop on in together and find out, shall we? Okay then, so picking up from where the last issue left off, the evil magician Abracadabra has kidnapped the other members of the Titans as well as Linda Park, Wally West's lady love, and left them in a series of dangerous death traps. To save them, Wally West the Flash will need to transverse pretty much the entire world at super speeds, even though he knows doing so could risk him once again and becoming trapped in the Speed Force. The first few rescue missions are easy enough. Wally makes quick work of the bad guys, making sure to do a lot of extra damage so they don't get back up again. Again, these are evil marionette versions of the original Teen Titans, not real people, so you don't gotta worry. Running around at supersonic speed is difficult enough, but Katabra takes this opportunity to berate Wally while he does it, saying how he came from a dark, joyless future, and when he came to the present, all he wanted to do was make a big splash, get famous or infamous, whichever came first but Wally the Flash thwarted him at every turn, stole his chance at fame. And because of that, Kadabra sought to steal his spotlight forever by locking him away in the Speed Force and making everyone forget about him. Too bad this spell ended up rebounding on Kadabra, who he himself was also forgotten. On the upside, Wally says all that time spent bonded with the Speed Force may very well have supercharged him as he's now being able to run to new levels of speed that before were impossible to him. Wally mops up the last couple marionette bad guys and saves Linda for last, managing to save her at just the last second before she takes a terrible acid bath. And then, well, as the comic winds down, that's where things get weird. Wally actually does end up disappearing. He saved the day, but it seems he wasn't able to save himself as the comic ends. Titans number 5 was definitely more of a Flash story than it was a Teen Titans story. It really was just watching Wally run from page 1 till the end. No, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. In fact, I'm sure many Wally fans out there will be pleased, but for me, I just found the whole thing a little bit boring in comparison comparison to what we've seen before. This once again is the problem I run into reading and reviewing books in single order fashion as they come out. I'm sure this will read much better in trade, but as until then, I'm just gonna have to give this one a 6 out of 10. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my newest video. I hope you enjoyed it, and while you're here, why not check out another video I have on offer? Or maybe if you're feeling in a supportive mood, you want to like or subscribe. And if you want to support the creation of more videos just like this one, then please by all means check out the Cape Jewel Patreon. A little bit goes a very long way, and I will see you all next time.